Asking questions about what happened inside a South Boston apartment where a person died and four children were taken into DCF custody. There are conflicting reports between the fire and police about what went on inside the apartment. Boston 25 News has been working to learn what exactly went on for a full week now. Our Katie Brace is live tonight with what that congressman is asking. Katie. Well, now U.S. Congressman Stephen Lynch is entering the conversation and saying there needs to be answers. One idea here today is to try to get uh, more facts in terms of what actually transpired. U.S. Congressman Stephen Lynch spoke at the public housing complex that's at the center of a controversial case. More than a week ago, an adult was found dead in an apartment. Also inside were several other adults and four children. The state has taken custody of the kids. There was some drug paraphernalia, also uh, some questionable circumstances. The police and fire reports have differing accounts of the scene. Is there an issue of transparency here? Not yet, not yet. Uh, so we'd like to, like to get all the facts out there and then find out, you know, why, why the, the later reports differ uh, from the earlier reports. The reports contradict each other as to if the adults were cooperative or if they were hiding children. Presenting a united front, Boston Police, Fire, EMS, Boston Housing Authority, members of the City Council and Congressman Lynch toured the complex. Last Thursday, Boston Police released a statement contradicting the fire report and what first responders relayed to city councilors. Today, BPD spoke publicly. The Boston Police Department is looking at all of the facts and circumstances that have brought us to this point. Uh, I'm not at liberty to discuss the current investigation. Last week, Mayor Michelle Wu backed the police report. She was not at the housing complex today, but at a different event, she said this. The agencies that are involved now are completing the investigations. The Public Housing Authority says it's working closely with police following the events, yet no one has publicly addressed the death of an adult or the four children now in state custody. Are you concerned that this particular case erodes public trust? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's important for us to get all the facts, uh, learn about them, and um, make changes. Congressman Lynch is involved as this complex is receiving federal funds for a redevelopment slated to begin next year. He and others say the next step is figuring out the response timeline. Now, this case is still under investigation, so the names of those involved have yet to be released. And as of yet, there have been no charges. Reporting live in South Boston, Katie Brace, Fear Local Station, Boston 25 News.